These games never get easier to play. Absolutely ne Like, not even slightly. I still feel like this is the first ever horror game I've played. <laughs> okay, hello. Welcome back to another one of my videos. I hope you're doing very well. Today we are playing a demo for a game called They Are Here Alien Abduction Horror. Uh, I believe the full release is going to be on Steam. So it's not out yet. So uh, let me know in the comments if you think it's worth playing. And then I will play it. Um... Just changing the settings. So yeah, let me just change the settings and then we'll get right on in. Okay, here we go. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, a Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at, and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox, that'll be us, travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make a report to the local paper. Interesting. So yeah, if you're already subscribed, welcome back. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. If you're not subscribed, consider doing so. If you like watching horror games, um, then this will certainly be the place for it. But let's see what this farm's about. Task, talk to farmer Peter Sherman. So that's my car. Oh, proper news van and everything. Okay. Oh, I like this. Nice graphics. Are there controls? Um, No. Okay. Okay. Oh, that'll do. Oh, fucking do. Hey yo, this is great material for a news report. Yeah, that's not normal, is it? They're not stars. So, this way to the Sherman's house. Classic. This is gonna be signs vibes all over, and they got like cornfields. And skulking. I'm sure at some point, though, there will be someone skulking. You skulking? Okay. Lights on upstairs. Scarecrow. So I don't know if it's... It is inhabited, right? My task was to speak to the farmer. Okay, note from the farmer. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My, my, my wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case, in case we pass each other. Be careful. Oh, bloody hell. P.S. Oh, P.S. Be careful. Okay. So they're not here. They're looking for their daughter. Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no. Okay. So, I don't know what my job actually is then, if they're not here. Old newspaper. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been sent throughout the state for a long time. Why I never knew about this. Why did I never know about this? Maybe. Sky object seen here in Orono, down to earth, approach to alien visitors. I could read out the whole paper. I'm not going to, though, so you can pause it there if you want to read it. Uh, uh, the first the first one, the first bit. I'm sick. Those were the words used by John King when he walked into Bangor Police Station and told of seeing an unidentified flying object at which he fired four shots from his pistol. Um, I was aware that at least two reports were made concerning the object, and Mrs. Robert Collins of 32 Gilbert Street said she viewed the object from her home for about 30 minutes. She described the object as having a pinkish, reddish, and greenish colour, but said she was too far away to see how big the object was that she had seen. She said also that her husband had seen the object as he drove home. Okay, okay, I get the gist. So, sightings for days, basically. Now, I'm not expecting to come across anyone, because they're all out looking for their daughter. So I'm just being nosy, basically. This is a bit weird. Um, in the photo of members of the Sherman family. Oh. So, yeah, what is my objective? There's no objective, but every time I unpause it makes that ominous noise. Ah. Oh. In this photo, members of the Sherman family. 
Okay, let's go this door first. Oh no, is this the daughter's room? Ooh! Okay, okay, I don't know if that's going to progress the story or not, so let me try this one instead. I think either one will. Let's go daughter's room first. She climbed out and escaped? So this is a note from the farmer. This is my daughter's room. During the night I heard a strange noise. When I came in she wasn't in a bed and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Jeez. I mean, there she, is, that, is that a photo of her escaping? That's a bit on the money. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Oh no. She's saying, hello, happy. And then please turn over. Killed the dog. She's very sad. It is very sad. That's weird. I hear something. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen close, you can hear very strange noises. I can. Don't like it. Jeez. Okay. Let's go to the parents' bedroom. Don't like having a door open behind me. What would be the point in opening that? Um, photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. It does look creepy. So, yeah, same writing for each one. So, various alien photos. Rim. Farmer's Children's Diary. So, the sticker. Found my old diary. How could I forget that? Oh, from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? And the diary text says, Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with grey skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically. And one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening. Barely made it home. My head was buzzing. And I walked home as if in delirium. When I got there I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Oh, it doesn't bode well, does it? Great material. It does not bode well. What the fuck? What the fuck? I can't see. Is that me crying? I think it's me crying. I'd like to think it was me crying because I would... What the fuck? Oh no. Definitely sounded like aliens. I crouch. Oh, I'm very slow though. Hello? I didn't do that. Did I? Oh, I haven't been in there yet. Farmer's note. Maybe I should have done the downstairs first. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Oh, why's the game suddenly got louder? 
Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple, abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then, behind the ear, were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me, some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Right, the audio, for some reason, has just jumped up to a thousand. Even that is too loud. There's an- oh my god, okay. I decide definitely that I will get it. He's been cutting out the, uh... Whoa, in the note, Peter Schumann claims that he cut out an alien in part. Maybe take it? Wow. Of course I will take it, so now the aliens can track me. Wow. Photos of dead animals. So yeah, that's obviously a very stereotypical note. Yeah, of cattle being mutilated. I say aliens all day. So yeah, like an old film or TV show about aliens. Next one. Trying to scare me. Don't you play again. Right, I think we're leaving. I think we're leaving. Oh! Hello? Oh, nah. Oh, nah, nah. Oh! Shit in hell! A fucking car. I'm scared, I don't want to go. These games never get easier to play. Absolutely, ne like not even slightly. I still feel like this is the first ever horror game I've played. <laughs> fuck off! 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 I don't like that I can look all around the car. What on earth is that? Well... find the large territory of Grayswood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Let me know. Should I do it? Do you want to see it? If you want to see it, I'll play it. If you don't want to see it, I'll probably play it, but I won't record it. Because I like that game. The graphics are great. The story's great. Who doesn't 
want to play a game about aliens. And there's the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it wasn't a massive demo, but it's just enough to uh, to give a taste of what the full game will probably be. Uh, I really liked it. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you want me to play it, and I will record it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you are subscribed, thank you for watching another one of my videos. And like the video so that I know you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.